only 5% of people are going to make it. Do you know the reason why? Achieving anything in life is required three important elements. The sequence of learning and applying these three important secrets is critical and I will cover them in the same logical order. The first one is mindset for growth. Working on your mindset is the first part of your journey towards successful career goal. The second one is system for growth. You need to follow a system to maintain and improve your skill sets day by day with handholding supports. And the secret three is about acquiring the needed skill sets. You need to learn how to solve any problem in the organization or your industry with the systematic approach. If you are going to take that pain and be ready to become the part of that 5% of the people, then please join this webinar. I'm sure this is going to change your life significantly. Hello, welcome back and uh, thank you so much for joining on time. So what is the important topic that we are going to learn today or I'm going to show to you is about this free training model in Lean Six Sigma and Minita. And this model I have prepared by considering or having the very deep thought in that. So I'm going to explain that as this live streaming is going ahead. So uh, coming back to the point, uh, you might heard uh, about the technological evolution that is taking place like uh, artificial intelligence, chat GPT, right? And I had also come across uh, one of the discussion that yes, this artificial intelligence and chat GPT is going to be resulted into the huge amount of unemployment. That, that will not be happening because the only change in job profiles, the needed skills that is going to be changed. Because if you see the same thing has happened by the introduction of the computers. When the computers was introduced, then uh, there was a change in the skill sets and people need to acquire that skill sets to remain into this competition, right? And similar thing is going to be happen here also that we need to acquire the skill set which are very important. If you are going to consider this artificial intelligence, chat GPT, we must acquire this essential skill set. And one of this essential skill set is the Lean Six Sigma. So we should not be behind. We should acquire these skill sets in time so that we can have this part or we can lead this technological evolution along with artificial intelligence and chat GPT, right? So uh, let me share you that uh, uh, free training model. What is this model and uh, why I have created that? What are the various topics it is having so that you can also have the great clarity on that. So let me share the screen. So this is the training model that I have prepared. And uh, this is related to the Lean Six Sigma and Minitab. So I have covered that, or uh, I can say I divided that entire training model for Lean Six Sigma and Minitab into four sections. The first section is about the basic tools. So in that I'm going to cover some of the basic tools from the Lean Six Sigma. So immediately that will help you to solve the problems into your work area, your organization, your department, and you can start getting results. Due to time constraint and as this is a free model, so I'm not going to cover all the tools in detail, but yes, some of the tools I have covered in detail with the help of practical example, what is their interpretation and what is the meaning that we can have from that tool, how we can execute that into the real life or how we can, how we can apply that tool into the real life. So everything in detail I have explained for related to some of the tools. So as a part of basic tool, this is the first section and uh, in that I've covered seven plus two quality control tools with examples. I've also explained why it is important to learn all these seven plus two quality control tools. Why it is called as a seven plus two? Because industry to industry, these seven quality control tools are going to be varied. And if you see the combination of all types of industries like manufacturing, pharmaceutical, IT, BPO, and all these industry, and if you combine their seven quality control tools, that actually is a nine, seven plus two. Depending on the type of industry, they are selecting, okay, what are the seven tools that they are going to use or what are the tools are more going to them. So I've explained all these nine tools into this entire training in short. And after that, I have covered one tool in detail with the help of practical example, how we can use that tool and how we can draw the interpretation of that tool. The second uh, part as a part of this basic tool is the control chart with example. So here I've explained one control chart with the help of example that's x bar and r chart and uh, how we can use that chart 
what are the different data considerations for that i have also taken one of the example and i, I have practically shown you okay how we can use this x bar r control chart into the real life and how we can get the results what are the precautions that also we need to take during the use of this x bar r chart that i have also explained in detail then uh, uh, i have also seen that uh, not all the people are having the advanced statistical softwares or the statistical softwares like the six sigma uh, sigma excel or minita so by considering that point i have also explained how we can use the microsoft excel how we can use the very beautiful option that is available into the microsoft excel that's the data analysis and by using that tool how we can perform this data analysis into the microsoft excel so that i have explained in very detail after that uh, uh, as a part of this data analysis in microsoft excel i have also explained with the help of uh, let me make zoom i will also explain one of the tool with the help of practical example that how we can use this microsoft excel and how we can draw the interpretation or analysis of that particular data so that i have also explained but due to time constraint i have taken one of the example one of the tool and i have explained in detail with the help of practical example so this is the first section basic tools and techniques the second section is about the advanced tools and techniques and in that i have covered some advanced tools which are required for the process optimization by doing the analysis or also to check your assumptions the first tool here i have explained as a design of experiment this is a very important and i can say the advanced statistical tool that is used for the process optimization or if you want to identify what are the factors which are important for your model or how we can optimize the settings so that we can get the best result best optimized results and how we can learn everything with the help of simulation so everything i have explained with the help of examples and basics of design of experiment into this first chapter of this advanced tools into the second chapter i have explained multivariate analysis now why why multivariate analysis is important because where sometimes we come across the data which is very huge and it's really difficult to analyze that data in that case we are going to combine number of variables based on their correlations and here we are calling them as a principal components or factors and based on that we are going to conduct the analysis so in short we can say the multivariate analysis is very powerful tool when we are having the huge data and from that data we are going to identify only some factors or the combination of factors so that we can optimize our processes the third tool as a part of this advanced tools is the hypothesis testing now this is a very powerful tool and we as a six sigma professional or as a working professional we need to use this hypothesis testing every single stage starting from when we are going to define the problem why we have initiated that problem why we have taken that problem is that problem affecting our business our profitability our efficiency our productivity so we are going to check that right and in that case also we are going to use the hypothesis testing even we once we identify what are the root causes or what are the causes of the problem whether these causes are significant or whether they are really relating to our problem or not if you want to check that again we need to use the hypothesis testing once we identify what is the solution again we are going to check with the help of hypothesis testing whether that solution is effective or not so during the entire project cycle or during the entire improvement cycle we are going to use this hypothesis testing at every single step and that's why this very important and critical topic during the introduction of this technological evolution like you might heard about the machine learning artificial intelligence like the now the chat gpt so you must be aware about uh, these important tools how we can use them into the real life so that we can use this technological advantage for your career goal that's why it's very important now these are the two sections now before to going to the third section let me check if you are having any questions any questions that you are having you can put that into the chat box okay so i can't see there are any questions okay but at any point of time if you are having any questions please put that into the chat box i am ready to take all your questions okay let's continue the third topic or the third section is about the effective training and accreditation certification so during the start of the today's live streaming i have shown you one of the video of one minute and that was focusing on how we can get our successful career growth now the word here successful because 
I want that everyone should grow continuously year on year, right? So we are not talking about the one point growth or one year growth or one step growth. I'm talking about how we can get your year on year continuous growth. So that's called as a successful career growth. And if you want to achieve that successful career growth, there are three important elements. As we're focusing on the skill set, yes, it's absolutely important. But in addition to the skill set, we need to work on other two important elements that are the mindset and system. If you're having the mindset and system in place, and if you're continuously improving your skill sets, no one is going to stop you, like technological evolution also. Even in technological evolution, you will upgrade yourself so that you will get your successful career growth. So what are these elements and uh, how we can implement that into our personal life, into our professional life? So that I have also covered into this first chapter of this effective training and accreditation certification. That's the career growth foundation and basics. So you can go into the detail of it. Please acquire that knowledge, start execution of that, them into the real life so that you can get the immediate results. Yes, all this training content, everything is free to you. And I will show you how we can access that entire training and how we can become the part of that. Okay, let's come back to the point. The second part of this third section, that's the effective training and accreditation that uh, I've discussed about what is the scope, uh, scope of the Lean Six Sigma Green Belt training in today's changing environment and whether we should go for the Green Belt certification or not or we should take for the other certification, or if you want to go for the Lean Six Sigma Green Belt certification, what are the important parameters of it? So I've covered that in detail. So what is the scope for this Lean Six Sigma Green Belt training in changing requirement of the world? And uh, how we can get the most effective and practical trainings? Now, please make a point of it that Lean Six Sigma certification that you are going to achieve, now it's not like about just the certification you must also have the practical knowledge because during this technological evolution, just having the certification is not going to help you anymore. You must have the practical knowledge of all these important concepts and how we can execute that into the real life. What are the tools and techniques that we can select? That is also very important. In addition to that, we also need to acquire other essential skill sets like we must be how the time management skills, team management skills, project management skills, right? So that also we need to acquire and that you will get from this Lean Six Sigma Green Belt. Now, along with that, uh, you must also acquire the leadership skills as we are going to move ahead or if you are having the experience, let's say more than three years or five years, then we should not stuck only the Green Belt, but you should enhance your full potential. And for that purpose, I have also explained how we can get the most important or I can say the most honored ASQ Black Belt certification. So what are the preparation that we need to do, how we can get that certification and how it is going to help you in career growth. Everything I have explained in detail into this third video of this third section. So if you see this third section is designed in such a way that it is helping you to focus on how we can have your basics ready, basics correct, then how we can enhance your skill sets depending on number of years of experience that you are having. And into the fourth section uh, that I have explained the advanced statistical softwares like Minitab, how we are going to use this Minitab and how we can make your life easier by doing the data analysis in much quicker and effective way. So I've ex also explained how we can become the master into this Minitab by in short time by using the systematic approach. So what is the approach that we need to follow during Minitab learning and everything I have explained into this fourth model, fourth section of this free training model. Now, let me show you that in detail, how it looks like. So once you enroll into that, uh, we can see there is a sections and uh, these are the videos that you are having in detail. So let's continue the same example. You can learn that in detail, that one particular tool out of this seven plus two quality control tools. And if you want to learn more about it, also I have provided the link for it. So you can go and check and you can learn into the detail. So everything like I have explained for the control charts, I've explained X bar R control. Okay, great. It's time. So we can start. Welcome to each and every. And uh, then I have explained the data analysis. Then I have also explained the advanced tools, um, including these design of experiment, multivariate, and uh, hypothesis testing. I've also explained all these career growth foundations. Then uh, this Lean Six Sigma Greenbelt scope. And only 5%.
the how you can go for the ISC Black Belt certification. And into the last part, I have explained about the mini tab, right? So you can enter into that entire program. Do you have any questions till the point? Okay. Now let me explain you how we can become the part of this program. So I've put that link into the chat box. You can see there is a link. It's the vijaysapplet.co slash free training. So let me show you that how we can enroll into that as well. So let me make you very easy. vijaysapplet.co slash free training. And after that, this entire training model is going to be open. You can see there is a sub pre training on some topics in the Lean Six Sigma. You just hit this enroll now button and you will also get what are the topics that I've covered here. So these are the topics that I've explained. It's the basic tools, advanced tools, effective training and accreditation. And also you will get here the minute app training. You can hit this enroll now button at the top or here. Along with this training, uh, you will get in the access to this training content. You can also schedule a call with me so that you can discuss whatever, uh, whatever the queries or questions that you are having, you can directly discuss with me. And uh, you will also get the certification of completion. So the certification of completion will be getting as a, you have completed the basic training into the Lean Six Sigma, right? So everything you will be getting as a free of, free of cost. So this is the process by which uh, you can uh, visit the link and uh, you can simply getting enrolled into this program. Great. So that's all about uh, this free training module of Lean Six Sigma and Minitab. So please start your journey of upgrading yourself, acquiring the skill set, which are very important during the technological evolutions like artificial intelligence, child GPT, and machine learning. If you are having any questions, I can take your questions. You can put that into the chat box. Okay, if no questions, then we can end up the today's live streaming. streaming. Thank you so much for your valuable time. And I'm sure that you got the great value from this live streaming. Please don't forget to enroll into this free course because this training is giving you entire idea about what is the Lean Six Sigma, what is the mini tap, and how it is going to help you into your career growth. And also the one of the important topic that uh, as we are mainly focusing on the only skill set, there are other two important elements like mindset and system, how we can work on that, how we can execute that into the real life, into our personal and professional life so that we can make easier our life of you know, the successful career goal. So that is another important topic that also you can learn as a free of cost. Thank you so much for your valuable time and see you in the next live stream.